Greetings Earthlings, I'm back with a review of a Samson Go Mic ripoff. So today we are reviewing this guy, the Amazon Basics Portable USB Condenser Microphone. If you do want to pick this guy up, we'll set you back around 30 bucks like always, links down below. And for the majority of this review, the microphone is connected directly to my Mac with the input gain set at around 65%, no post processing, but I will likely boost it in post, so check the doobly-doo to see what I did. And because this microphone only has two options for placement, one being clipped to a monitor, the second being sat directly on the desk. For this entire review, I will have it clipped to my laptop's monitor. Now let's talk about what comes in the box. You get the microphone, which has a previously installed clip. You get a zippered storage case for the microphone. You get a 1.5 meter USB cable, and you get some documentation. Then when we get to the build quality, this thing is not impressive by any stretch of the imagination. The entire microphone body is all plastic and very flimsy feeling. It does have a metal mesh grill on the front, but that is also very weak and flimsy feeling. Now I will point out that the back of the clip is made out of metal, so it does feel like it has some weight to it, and there is also padding to protect your monitor when you mount this to it. On the front of the microphone, all you will find is a microphone mute button with an LED indicator light. On the side of the microphone, you'll find the USB port, and that is all there is for this microphone. It doesn't even have a 3 8 inch mounting thread like the Samson Go mic. Then as far as the specs, this thing has an omnidirectional polar pattern. It has a frequency response of 70 hertz to 15 kilohertz. It has a bit depth of 16 bit, a sample rate of 48 kilohertz, and a sensitivity of negative 38 decibels. Okay, now I am spinning around the Amazon Basics USB condenser microphone. And since this is an omnidirectional polar pattern, you should hear absolutely no change in the tone as we moved around it. Okay, I still have the microphone mounted directly to my my MacBook and I am typing on its relatively quiet keyboard to show you how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And because I'm sure some people will do this, I'm going to place the microphone directly on my desk in front of me and type on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to show you how it performs in this situation. Okay, now I'm only a couple inches away from the microphone. About one foot away from the microphone, two feet away from the microphone and about four feet away from the microphone. Now let's test it for plosives. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Okay, now I have the Amazon Basics portable USB condenser microphone connected directly to a Windows 10 PC. The input gain is set at 92% and this is how the audio sounds. Okay, so as you can see, I have my gain set at 65%. I'll drop it to 0% and slowly increase it so you can hear the noise generated by this microphone's preamp. Seventy five per cent. And one hundred per cent. Now, since this microphone doesn't have any decent mounting options, I'm not going to record a sample of an electric guitar or close miking an acoustic. I'm just going to play guitar and sing to show you how it sounds mounted to the top of my laptop. Okay, so it honestly seems like whoever designed this microphone got their hands on the Samson Go mic, removed all the good qualities of that microphone, set them to the side, and made this microphone with what was left over. But regardless, in terms of pros, it is a very small and very portable microphone, and it has a mute button on the front with a big bright LED, which is nice. But then in terms of cons, this is an omnidirectional microphone, so it will pick up all the ambient noise around you. It has severely limited mounting options where you can only have it on your desk or mount it to your monitor. 
It also has less than optimal build quality, there is no zero latency monitoring, and it just doesn't sound very good. So as far as my overall thoughts of this microphone, I think the only real saving grace here is how small and portable it is. Because as I mentioned, it doesn't sound good, it picks up a ton of ambient noise, it is not built too well, and it's not terribly quiet. So now, would I recommend this microphone? For anybody looking for decent quality audio, no. But if you do a lot of traveling and you just need a microphone for conference calls, then I think this would actually work pretty well for that. And the reason I say that is it has a very bright red LED light on the front when you mute the microphone. So it makes it very apparent when your coworkers can't hear you so you can go ahead and pass gas or call Cheryl a stupid idiot or do anything that you don't want your coworkers to hear. But other than that very niche use case, I just think it's a pretty useless microphone. And I guess that's where I'll end it. So if you got anything out of this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Want more videos? You can subscribe by clicking the logo down down beneath me. You could also click the bell right below the video and you can check out the discord server link in the description and I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.